Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're going to be building another open top tank design. Now this one is going to be based on the regular update post on April 10th with an open top design, essentially. So we're going to go ahead and start building something along the lines of that, and what we're going to do instead of putting a machine gun placement on it is we'll actually put a cannon on it instead. So, let's get straight to it, and hopefully we can come up with something nice. Alright, so, the main thing that we need to do with this is turn it into freeform, we're then gonna go to spaces, and we are gonna delete the roof all the way along. There we go. I mean, that looks a little bit insane, but that is what I wanna do. We're then gonna go to each of these guys, and I am gonna angle this further out. From there, we're gonna go to these guys, these two right here, and we're gonna do this. I do think that looks pretty good, so we're gonna stick with it. If I can, I wanna go to the steering wheel. And I'm going to go ahead and push that inside a little bit further. There we go. And to be honest, that looks okay to me. Doesn't look too bad. What I would like to do next, though, is work on the tracks, try and make those look a little bit nicer, and go from there. Okay, so I've made the idler wheel at the front a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and make it into this. There we go. That looks pretty good. We're then going to go ahead and change these wheels to look the same as well. These ones up here can look the same as well as that. And I actually kind of want to move these forwards. Just a tad like so, and then I think I'm going to do something with these as well. If I can change the spacing, and then change the length of it a little bit as well, and then move them forwards, that would be great. But I think I'm going to struggle with that. Oh no, that actually looks okay. Good. So yes, it is pointing out backwards a little bit, but that's okay. We can go to each of these, and probably drag that backwards as well. So go to those, drag them backwards to there. That's mighty fine. Alright, sick. Okay, so let's say you wanted armor on this thing. We're going to go to the front, and we're going to armor up the front end. Each of these panels is going to be thicker. So if we go to thickness, let's go ahead and have this be uh, 60 millimeters thick. There we go. Along the sides, we're going to go ahead and change that to be less thick, but still quite thick. So let's go with... I don't know, let's go with like 35? 35 mil thick on the sides. There we go. That looks pretty cool. These guys right here are only going to be 10, that's fine. And then the guys down here are going to be a little bit more. So instead of 10, they're going to be like 25. There we go, 25 mil thick. There we go. So I am just armoring up all of the sides. Hopefully this looks good. I think it does. And I'm actually kind of happy with that. There you go. So we're just sort of testing out what we can do with this update. It's kind of fun. Anyway, these tracks are going to be 65 mil. There we go. That looks pretty good. And then, I wouldn't mind actually lifting the entire thing upwards, just slightly, so do this. There we go. From there, I kind of want to add fenders, but I don't think we need to. Okay, so what we're going to do instead is turn these guys around on both sides if I can. So this one and this one, we're going to twist them both. There we go, pretty sick. I am going to go ahead and try and move them off to the sides. There we go. And I'm going to move them forwards. Actually, no. They're going to stay back there like that. We're going to make this engine absolutely massive. 16 cylinders is what it currently is. That seems insane, but yes, that's what we're going to go with. If I can then make these guys actually fit, that would be awesome as well. So I need to go to this. I need to drag that backwards to like here, because that's how this works. And then just make that fit together. So as long as that's next to the sprocket, that's fine. We're then going to do the same thing with this one. Bring it back to the sprocket, bring it upwards. And inwards as well, there we go. That looks A-OK. -okay. The only thing is, we need to split the shaft right there, split the shaft right here as well, and we're going to move these guys, both of them, forwards. There we go, and that should get us out of trouble, which it seems to have done. Excellent. So yeah, there's a massive engine being placed in the back. Uh, it would be awesome if I could actually move these guys off to the side a little bit more, and then maybe we can make the engine a little bit bigger, but actually I think that's as big as it needs to be. Okay, the next thing we need to do is actually add some exhausts for this engine. It seems a little bit strange to be doing this, but yes, I do actually want to add some of these guys. Probably to the inside, actually. So if I can twist them around, just like that, there we go. And have them in the inside like that. I mean, it looks weird, but I guess it works. Yeah, sure. That looks so weird. Okay, so what's next? Fuel tanks, I think. Let's go ahead and shove one singular fuel tank into there. I am actually going to go ahead and squidge it so it's like this thick. There we go. If I can move that off to the side so it fits in front of this, that'd be awesome too. And then I think we're going to go ahead and do this. Make it really tall. 
And as wide as the tank is, there we go, awesome. There's our fuel tank. Yeah, it totally fits in there. Nice. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is actually add a guy. This is going to be the driver, if I can fit him in. So I kind of want him to sit in there like this. Apparently, it's only his left foot that is actually in, an, in a bit of an issue. So let's go ahead and angle him backwards. There we go. His seat height can go upwards. And he is going to be the driver, of course. Okay, so if I can move him backwards. Oh, we can't quite do that. Can I do, like, foot angle? Feet forward, feet backwards. I can do... <laughs> he can drive like this. That looks so dumb. Uh, right, hang on. Feet forwards. Yeah, to around there. I'm going to angle him... or drag him upwards like this. There we go. If I could angle his feet, that'd be great. Let's, let's angle him forwards. Seat height is going to go lower. And then I think if we move this into place, that'll be better than what we've got. Yeah, okay, right, cool. I don't know how far I can actually poke this through without it actually showing. Don't think I've got much further to play with, but let's go with this. Okay, sick. Back to the guy. Here we go. So yes, you can see his head from over the top, but that's okay. Let's drag him sideways. There we go. Arms out. There we go. And arm out. Excellent. That seems pretty good. Maybe in slightly and in slightly on this one as well. There we go. That looks sick. And then arm down. Now we're going to leave it where it is. So that's our driver. Yes, you could just about see his helmet over the top, but that's fine. So you may ask, what are you going to do from there? Well, I'm going to go to edges and we're going to start splitting these. So if I can split it down there, I can then split it right here as well. Split it right there as well. And probably one more time here, one more time right there, and again here and here. We're going to split those two, if I can. So split this one, there we go, and split that one, there we go as well. Okay, what we're going to do from there is split these guys across the top, and these guys across the bottom. I then want to start deleting things, essentially. So if I can go to faces, I'm going to delete this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. I only want to do it on one side, though, if I can. So, let's go back to this, mirror, delete that one, delete that one, delete that one, delete that one, and that one, and that one. There we go. So, that's where the gun is going to be poking through. Right here is where the driver's head is, <laughs> so he's going to be actually looking through it as well. That might be a really bad idea on my part, but maybe not. Who knows? Right, I'm going to angle that in a little bit. There we go. Driver can totally see through there. That's awesome. And then this piece down here, I'm going to move that slightly across. So it's more level, and that looks interesting. Okay, so I have actually shoved a viewport on there. I don't know whether he's going to be able to use that, but I'm sure it's fine. And then, obviously, I've done this to the gun. It's more of a hole sort of section, which is interesting. But, um, yeah, we're just going to go and shove a gun into there, and hopefully that'll work out. I think it will. So, I've gone to firepower, I've gone to mantlets. We're going to go ahead and get one of these, and I'm going to shove it on there, kind of like that. We're then going to get ourselves a cannon, shove that into here as well. And I am going to make that a lot smaller, down to like 37 mil. I don't want it to be very big whatsoever. Yeah, that looks weird, but I'm sure it's fine. Drag the entire thing backwards, there we go. Shove it upwards into the sky, and... Yeah, I mean, I guess that's good. It's really weird, obviously this hole is huge. So maybe we do actually make it smaller in terms of dragging these guys in? I don't know, is that a bad idea? So, grab that one and that one. Turn mirroring off, there we go. Drag this into there. Then grab this one, this one, this one, and this one, and do this. That looks really strange. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, though. Alright, let's go ahead and try and move this into a nicer position. In fact, it's already pretty much in the position we need it to be in. I'm then going to move this guy up to there, and whoever the gunner is, is going to have to work on that. Okay, so I ended up adding like a million rounds up here, 126 there, 126 there, and the same on the other side. So if the loader actually needs to run around and grab those, they totally can. I would have liked to have actually put a bit of a flooring in this. Unfortunately, in order to do that, I think what I'm going to have to do is just make this thicker. I think that will then cover it, which is not really what I was planning on doing. But it has actually covered it up, which I think is fine. I'm going to move this bit up slightly as well. There we go. And then I wouldn't really mind adding a bunch of, like, seating and stuff like that. I don't think that's a bad idea. Oh, wait. What's going on there? Is that because of the floor? That doesn't make sense to me. What's going on there? Wait, what is going on there? I'm really confused. 
Uh, length of the bars, let's go ahead and crush those. There we go. All right, we're fine. This looks so weird. All right, let's get ourselves a gunner and a loader and maybe some other people as well. Okay, so this right here is a standing man. Obviously, we can't really have him being a standing man. So he's going to have to, like, sit down on his butt in order to actually, you know, fit in this situation. So we're going to sit a man on the floor right here, and he is going to be our gunner. There we go. Okay, if I can lift his arm up, that would be great, but I don't think that's a possibility. Yeah, arms can only go down, they can't go up, unfortunately. So let's go with left arm all the way down. His right arm can stay up. I'm going to move it over to the side, and I'm going to say right arm in. There we go. So he's going to be our gunner. Uh, lane drive operator, yes, and our cannon operator as well. Excellent. We're then going to grab another guy. He's going to sit in pretty much the same situation. We're going to do the opposites on these. There we go. And if I can, I'm going to move him up slightly. Move him forwards. Oh, I want him to, like, fit in here next to these guys, but I don't think that's a possibility. Maybe if I twist him. Oh. Oh, maybe. Left arm in. Yes. Right arm in. Yes. Okay. And right arm up. Can I do that? Oh, yeah. There we go. This guy's going to be the loader. There we go. So he loads the gun. He fires the gun. He drives the vehicle. What is the rest of the vehicle even for? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's go to each of these. We're going to go with 1,000 on this one. There we go. 1,000 on this one. Okay, awesome. Ratio doesn't really matter. Let's go with 10. There we go. And we'll go with like, I don't know, 15 and 15. So we can actually aim from side to side if we need to. Let's go ahead and see if that's true. How far over is it aiming? Oh, it's actually totally working. Oh, yeah. And we can fire the cannon as well. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a gunner's sight as well. That is something that we do actually fully need. Uh, I don't know where the gunner's sight is. Presumably in firepower. There we go. So shove that directly in front of said gunner. Move this forwards. There we go. And gunner can now see through sight. Excellent. And shoot the cannon through it as well. Beautiful. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. I don't know why it's bouncing, but it totally is. But yeah, the tank actually drives. Sick. Yeah, so we've got an open top design. Don't know what's going on with it, not gonna lie. But um, I kinda like it. So yeah, there you go. Let me go and add a bunch of detail to it now, which pretty much usually consists of uh, a bunch of ladders, literally everywhere, and that's it. So um, yeah, let me do that, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, so there you go. Bit of a weird one. Obviously, we have a huge engine in the back. We have a gun. We have a loader. We have a driver. And we have a gunner. Um, overall, I mean, this is a very strange tank. Obviously, it's a very, very fast build. I haven't really changed an awful lot. I just thought it'd be interesting to see what a tank like this would even look like. Obviously, open-topped. You can see inside. I don't even know what you'd use this thing for. Maybe like a recovery vehicle or something like that. That'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Kind of an interesting design, nevertheless. Uh, obviously, the exhausts are very strange, and I don't really know what's going to happen when I drive over here, but... Yeah. Pretty cool design. Oh, it bounced. They always bounce. It's very strange. But yeah, I don't mind it. Obviously, it's weird. It is. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to be going back to the other version of Sprocket after this video, so that we can actually fight things. Uh, but when this update allows us to actually fight things, we'll obviously come back, we'll design more tanks, and uh, we'll fight them. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.